I don't want you to answer the question on screen. This is not a lottery ticket night show, so answering my question will only guarantee one thing, that you're desperate to win a prize, but you will never win unless you listen to what I have to say next. As the man in the next video was walking around the house, going back and forth, he literally distracted me, gave me a headache, and almost cost me my vision. Was he really that fast at walking? No, but I like to over-exaggerate. But why was he walking so confusingly? Who said he was confused? He seemed more like a creeped out type of guy to me. Is that so? Then what could be the reason? His house is most likely haunted by an evil unfaithful demonic ghost. How overdramatically terrifying. But you would be right on that point. Congratulations, you've finally gotten something right. It seems like he sensed something off in the house, and he was not wrong, as the chair rotated on its own all of a sudden while the pack of diapers felt off the table. At least that's what I thought it was until I realized it was just a bag. And what about the TV? Well, if Johnny has said that he is the only one awake in the house, then who is blocking the light in the TV room? Every time I see a cross on one of these walls, I immediately jump to the conclusion that the house is cursed, so something must be off, especially in the US. But why do you have the cross on the walls and the satanic star on the carpet? How long has it been since I featured Lainey and Benny on this channel? Well, the last time I did, these two were like single parents, now they have a baby, and I'm still here digging for some views. Anyway, if you can read the title on screen, it says, There once was a ship, and the rest is history. If you know the very famous song behind this lyric, why reference a stupid song in a paranormal video that should send shivers down our spines? And did you have to add that last line? How cringe. Let me explain. Explain why it's cringe. No you fool, I meant let me explain why I made such a reference. Well, in one of the clips in the next sequence of paranormal videos, there was once a video where it seemed like the ghosts were messing up the kitchen in the background, at an angle the camera couldn't see, and the way it sounded, it was like that beat from that song. Now let's get more serious, because up until now, we have been just talking about the light stuff. Let's get to the really scary section, where we can make these babies, babies, make these babies click out of the video due to not being able to handle the horror of course. As Ben was investigating his kitchen with no electricity on, using only the light of the candle, something happened right behind him that made him shake like a blender. Then later on, he heard the sound of something dropping. He went to check, only to find his dignity. I mean, to find his lamb on the floor, and then it started turning on and off by itself. Later that month, as he was giving us a look at that lamp, the door behind him started knocking. Who could it be? He opened the door to find no one. It reminds me of myself there. But at night, the kitchen turns into a mess, with the drawers and cabinets going crazy on their own. Am I... This bar stool just moved. This bar stool just moved. This one right here. That bang, the metallic bang was me kicking the bin, but... Oh my god. That shook me, that shook me out big time, man. I was looking over in this direction towards the stove and stuff. And I heard this bar stall, it was like... No, it was louder than that, it was like...
So I was just through in the kitchen. I've been sorting some bits out. Lainey's just taking the baby up to bed. And I came in, well, like after hearing a huge thud in the living room, and I've just found this. Like this lamp here has just kind of fallen onto the floor. And I don't know how it's happened because the legs don't even like k like turn in or anything like that. Like they like slide up and down, but it looks like this leg is the one that's given way after I've taken a little look. Can you do that again? <sighs> Bro! I can literally, you can see the like. Okay, that's enough, thank you. Can you turn it off? You can probably hear Lainey upstairs with the baby. Are you able to? Oh my god, this is, this is literally like what it was like before and once again the cupboards are absolute dives but never mind that. I'm just going to show in the cupboard because people will be like there's someone hidden in there. It's definitely not. I can't even fit a person in there, it's not even a full cupboard. Am I the only person who saw a double door leading to that storage room? I'm sure I saw Ben open two doors when he heard the knocks. So that's the only thing that intrigued you from all the clips. Actually, yeah, let's... Let's get to Marty, a name I feel like I have never mentioned on my channel before, thanks to my small vocabulary name book. But here he is, possibly the first Marty on the channel. So what's the deal with this young man? And how did you know he was young? He could be on the verge of taking his last breath. But your assumptions are correct here. He is young and excited for all the danger awaiting him in this life. Really? Like what, for example, like the, like the danger lurking inside his apartment, and he has no idea what it's like. What kind of danger are we talking about here? A paranormal one. Correct. You are making progress as this list goes through. And for that, I will end your pain quickly and get into the bottom line of this story. Ori, as he was once living his daily morning life, I guess, his door started knocking all of a sudden. So what's so weird about that? It actually happened multiple times during the week. That's still not enough. It could just be some annoying kid playing a prank on him, or maybe a new introvert employed delivery guy who was too shy to be seen. He hid somewhere or ran so fast he wasn't seen. Now you're going backwards with these assumptions. Marty opened the door to find no one, to convince you more that it's all paranormal, once he had some stuff on top of the drawer closet. And when he left the room for less than a minute, he heard the sound of it getting messed up, and his kitchen chair was moved slightly in front of him. If that wasn't scary enough, have you ever heard of a pranking kid who invades the house to knock on the bedroom door and mess up the electricity? That kid must be a sorcerer of some sort. No sé qué, qué más decirle, qué más hacer, ya, ya les mostré. Ni siquiera quería subir esto, pero creo que grabando igual como que me siento un poquito más acompañado porque, porque ustedes saben, uno no... Ah. Bueno, no 
pesquemos, no, no pesquemos. Ay, pero conche su madre. Es que es imposible no pescar, weón, si está. sintiendo ahí pueden escuchar eh, el, la puerta que están tocando de nuevo y mira mira ya pueden escuchar Puede ser algún vecino que me está mandando, pero ni cagando. Bueno, ya estoy ordenando aquí la ropa porque ya, como, como me tengo que, que ir y desocupar todo el, lo que es el departamento, tengo que obviamente sacar todas la, las cosas y todo eso. Aquí estamos, porque igual ya no, ya no puedo hacer nada, pero está ordenando y. Y de nuevo se cayeron cosas. Ya obviamente se vuelve como un poquito normal, entre comillas. Pero no voy a negar que me da un poquito de miedo. Y... Obviamente tengo que desocupar acá. Y... Ah. Corta el huevo, man. Ustedes escucharon ahí. Y acabo de salir de acá y no ya estaba todo en su lugar. Ya. Ya no sé qué hacer porque tengo que guardar todas las cosas, los platos. Que igual ya tengo un poco más desocupado acá. Me falta sacar la bicicleta, que es lo más callo. Pero. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? <risa> ya, cuchizo Mario. Perdón. Cuchizo Mario, weón. Estaba viendo una película, weón. Y. Y como que, weón, estaban golpeando la puerta. Te lo juro, te lo juro, te lo juro, te lo juro. Y después, conche tu madre. No, weón. Conche tu madre. Conche tu madre, weón. Ay, weón. A mí no me dan tanto miedo estas weón, pero... Es que estoy solo, weón, de verdad. Otras veces estaba acompañado, no sé, o con mi mamá, no sé, pero ahora... Yo vivo solo y... Esta weón está... Conche tu madre. No. Ya, pues, weón. Ay, conche su madre, ya. Uy, weón, me asusté con el reflejo, conche su madre. No, ahí. No, oh, weón, sí. No hay nadie, oye, te cruza nada. No. Oh, conche su madre. Uy. I can't claim that these videos are real, but I also want to point out something. Just when I thought door knocking paranormal activity was getting old and no longer a TikTok trend, here it is, still alive.
I have never seen a security guard like the one in the next video before. What's so different about him? Is he so muscular that you almost felt a little bit to the left, like a little bit not straight for a brief shining moment? The guy can barely move with the crutch, what do you think his physique will be like then? What weirded me out was where he was working. They call him a watchman, but it's the same as a security guard. I don't know what he was protecting, at least I didn't know at first, but then I discovered the shocking truth. As he was almost asleep, his crutch moved on its own. Then a tricycle came all the way from the back, right towards him. He finally stood up to do his job and take a closer look at what was going on, and then something was moving the leaves around him, only for something like a body to come out of these leaves. At that point, he decided to call out those for whom he was working. There were two men wearing nothing but a towel. This guy was touching one of them, trying to look as if he were just scared. But I sensed something suspicious about him. Something wasn't pure. I was assured later when he got possessed. All this sounds realistically scary, but not so much visually.
Why did these guys have towels on and not clothes? Why was he protecting them? And the most important question I have is, what happened to his damaged leg? Wasn't he walking with that crutch? that the next video isn't scary when it comes to the events, as it has nothing to do with the paranormal, but what's really creepy about it is the video itself and its topic. It is also important to note that you all should be familiar with it. Why? Is it like a tape with all our parents showing up to greet us so we can recognize them? What kind of dream are you living? I may have over-exaggerated on that recognition part, but here is a summary of what the video is all about. The video titled Grave Robbing for Morons appears to be a creepy and potentially illegal tutorial on grave robbing. The guy holding the skull discusses the process of robbing graves, including cleaning the stolen bones and selling them, and even suggests knocking out potential witnesses. He claims that he and his accomplice have robbed graves and obtained human remains for profit. While some aspects of the video, such as the methods described, raise doubts about its authenticity, there are elements that suggest it could be genuine, such as the detailed and seemingly real human skull shown in the video. He remains unidentified, and there is no evidence to confirm or refute the video's authenticity, so this should give you a clear idea before you enter this mess. On this, on this big, or if it's a male, you might have Lines like that from the from the baldness, okay? Now, so what you do is you grab it around here. You grab it here and peel it back like that, okay? Peel it back, all right? And then it'll pull off. It'll make a disgusting sound. Um, so let's say it's some someone important, right? All right, so you, uh, so you take a sample of the uh, mustache, right? Okay, so you... To make sure that uh, I'm authentic, or right, you take the dentures and you make sure they're with them, so that way the person knows who this person is. All right, all right. Because sometimes, sometimes you you go and you risk your ass looking for somebody. All right, and somebody might be paying some serious money for it. So you have to make sure it's the real thing. Okay, and and you have to make sure it's the real thing. So you have, so you have to bring some kind of proof that it's the real thing. So you bring a piece of hair. Preferably from the, from the longest part, you might have to do some some fixtures, okay, and put um uh, spring on the sides so that way you know uh, I, 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 it'll open it up, all right, and shut for show. It's very okay, but, but after a while, you take um some screws and everything, you make a, a hole here and in the jaw, you put the spring, and then it's fine. It's just like that, all right? To open it closed. All right. So what you do? All right. So when you so when you first open them up, all right? Do not do not grab it here. All right. Don't grab it by the teeth like that. All right. Uh, you grab it by the eyes or the nose. You, you pull it out. Put your finger all the way in. There is nothing there that will hurt you at all. All right. You have to make sure of that. There, there's nothing that can hurt you. Do not be afraid. Pull it out like that. Do not pull it by the teeth, or else it'll break out like that, and you will have holes. Okay. Now, see, as you can see, see these are the nostrils. Okay, for this, for this, you're gonna have to uh, take something, push it in, wrap around a um, uh, thin um, um, cloth or something, push it in, so that we could get that real clean. On the inside, see, on the inside, if you, if you don't want to make a cut around here, so you have to take something real thin and push it around. Make sure it's all clean, all right? See, so, so remember, you have a very small hole, all right? So you, so you, so you make a cut right here, so you can make sure that the inside is all clean. But, I mean, it won't look that that nice afterwards. As a matter of fact, it won't look that... Okay, this one is from a very long time ago, okay? If you find something more new, you can expect more... more... um reddishness okay so this one so this one will end up a little brown okay because it's very old okay so, so after you wash it so it'll be like 
brown and and like beigeish, okay. But if you find something new, it will be reddish all around. It will be red. If you find something really old, okay, it will be brownish. Uh, I'm all around, so you uh, so leave it in your see on your roof or something, okay. But uh, all right, you so see, like it's like in the summertime or something when it when it when there's a lot of sun, it's real hot, and at the wall, this will get all white. It will be beautiful, right? See this part. See this, this part. See on the inside. Um. Um. See, see this part on the inside and everything. It's, it's always glass, right? But for the for the legs and everything, you always find it's metal. Sometimes you will find it's it's glass. But um, a lot of times you'll find it's metal. All right. So what you so what you first have to do. All right. So this is cloth. You have to peel back the cloth, which is very hard. So as you can see, this is very hard to rip. All right, so say this was hard. All right, it would be very hard. You have to, so you have to, so you have to watch out for the drain in your sink, as it might get caught in there. All right, so what you do is you shake it out in the toilet, or you shake it out in a bucket, because it will get caught. It's best if you wash it in a bucket. It's that way. It's that way. Afterwards, you can see what's solid and everything. You can put everything in the toilet, and that way, nothing will get caught. Uh, I'm afraid things. You have to find some place really so. So, uh, so uh, I'm secluded. So that way, there's there's uh, no interruptions. Okay. So you each take turns. First one digs, so then the other digs. And then the digs, all right, and you keep going in a circle. All right, the rest of the three have to be lookouts because if it's outside, you're out in open ground. It's dangerous. So other than that, it's virtually easy. It's a nice business if you find the right people to buy. All right, see, it's like your, uh, on your first four, four or five graves, they're going to be fun. But after a while, you're going to be like, I want money for this. And so you find somebody who's like, you know, who wants this person all right, so like, it's like if you want, it's like if you want a Melvis or something, you get at least a mil for it. Bucci, Bucci and Daco, I'm also helped it, uh, at the very beginning. Me and um, Gino first opened it up though. All right, we opened it up, we broke it open, but the other guys helped out a lot. Um, I like to put them in this, you know, but they're not here because they really, you know, they really helped in everything because we're the forefathers, me, Daco, and Bucci, and everything. We're the first ones who opened up and everything. We made this trend from now on. This is a trend. We will keep doing it for the fun and soon. And our next big hit is Houdini. If you're watching this video, then you'll know who he was. I'm telling you, this man must be getting high so often, but this clip is one of those weird ones that I don't usually share due to the fact that not a lot of people come to see them on these kinds of lists. But since I saw a dream referring to the failure of this video, the one of mine, then I don't really care because the upcoming video will be fairly spicy, so watch out. That's why you should subscribe and watch the next video on screen.